This is the fourth time this mold has been reviewed on this channel. But the second time by me. Hello, you remember this hand, don't you? Do you not? His, I don't blame you. I mean, his face has been on this channel a couple times, like when the, the Blood and Honey review. But my hand has been shown more often. But anyways, this is the Masterpiece MP53 plus B. So they're doing symbols and letters. Dia Burnout. No clue why it's named that way. Well, Diaclone. The, this is Diaclone Burnout. So you probably don't know who that is, but it doesn't matter because she's not really a real character. So I know. guess I guess it's car, supposed to be car sized MP box. Nothing special. There's everything. There's the usual stuff. Car mode there. Robot mode there. Top there. Standard box. Nothing to talk about. This is what we have to talk about. So if you've is seen my review of mode. Skids and Reboost and his review on Senator Crosscut, it's more or less the same mold. But more or less, it's literally the same mold. I think the only difference in the mold is the head. Yeah, that's basically it. So really nice car. The black is really shiny. The orange... Uh, stripe on the side is pretty cool. I kind of wish it would have carried over for the rest of the car, but that what, uh, whatever, don't mind. So Honda City Turbo, pretty nice looking car. And uh, this is a sticker, by the way, because Burnout actually comes with this sticker sheet as a big Autobot logo, the G2 Autobot logo, I think. It's a Generation 2 Autobot logo. Yeah, yeah. and a small Autobot logo for the scooter, this is a scooter by the way, it says uh, something, but it. it's a nice scooter. I think it says Interscope or Intercept or something. Uh, I, I can't tell what it I says. I have no idea. But it says words. Something I don't like about the sticker though is that there's not a lot of room here on this side of the, of the hood. And here, there's like a bend, you know, like it's not, the sticker's not really gonna be on a completely flat surface, which I mean, some angles it looks fine, like this angle looks okay, but I don't know. But anyways, yeah, all the same details from the other three cars of this mold that have been reviewed on this channel. Let me, so, let me just say something. She rolls pretty nicely. I as, actually do. As, as an MP car should. I so. do enjoy this mold. I did not think it would be on this channel four times, <laughs> but here we are. But I, I've yet, but yeah, th this is actually mine. Like, Crosscut was mine. This one's mine, too. Whereas Skids and Reboost, those are actually mine. Yeah. And no accessories for this mode, but just for the sake of getting it out of the way. So along with the scooter, you get a uh, Carly Oh, that's the cast MP44 in. Carly mold. Yeah, so, well, the only Carly mold in the MP line. So this is Carly... Same mold from MP44, just cra just cast in orange for some reason. I'm sure it's still a piece of crap. Yeah. But this is actually the first time I'm attempting this, but you can actually... So, see, she's falling apart just by moving the arms. So, I, I'm not going to even try it out, because there's a thing you can do. You can have her ride the, uh, the scooter, but I do not even bother, because I don't mess around with these little minifigures anyway, because they kind of garbage. The only one that was actually sort of um, okay was the one that came with MP10. But yeah, this just, I do not care for it. I'm not going to toss it out because it's, you know, a, a part of a collectible. But, but it breaks in half like my copy of Spike Mold. Yeah. But yeah, that's a car mode. Nothing new here except the paint job. Everything else is the same. It is a nice paint job, though. I do like how it looks. Yeah, the black is really shiny, and I like it. it. It almost looks like like I'm holding a real car just in my hand, which is cool. But yeah, it's basically the car mode. And because we've rev because uh, because this thing has been transformed on camera three times before, I'm not even going to bother. So. And there she is. Hello. She is the, the same thing, nothing new, mold-wise. 
Except, except, for except, head. except the head. And it's a pretty decent head. You know, doesn't look feminine at all. Which, I mean, yeah, it's a robot, doesn't need to look feminine, but I'm just used to... Like, if you look at, say, Black Arachnia, or RC, or even Nightbird. I, I'm just used to seeing feminine-ish features in uh, female Transformers, well, but... Well, what's her name? The repaint of Trax, I can't remember her name offhand. She doesn't really look super feminine, either. Yeah, but... What is her name? It's gonna bug me. It's a Road, Road Rage. Rage. Yeah, but... That this is a woman transformer and uh looks really good. I like the I mean I'm a sucker for red and black color combos. It's a really good color scheme, honestly. So this just looks really good. And just the color scheme alone elevates her above skids and reboost for me. And maybe crosscut. Maybe crosscut, but I don't know. I'd say they're both probably tied. But anyways. Yeah, got a, this, the same details, just color differently. You know, red hands, silver thighs, red toes. Not a real backpack. I mean, it's show accurate, so whatever. I mean, she's not in the show. There's, all, there's a logo again. Just all in all, a really nice looking color scheme. Which I'm proud. I'm proud of. I'm, pr I'm proud of that. Also, the card. I don't know if I've show if I've shown the card for Crosscut or any of the other guys I reviewed. I have never shown the cards on this channel. But I just had the idea to show the card, and you know that's the card. Stats. You know, stats. If you if you can read them, I I can't read Japanese, but they have the stats there. And also, I'm just now noticing this. Is that? Uh, that's spin out. It's spin out. Yeah. Because uh, Corden was the white one. Yeah. But, yeah, there's Spin Out. Yay? Okay. And other stuff I didn't show yet are the weapons. So you get the same weapons that you got with Crosscut. I know Crosscut got, got these two, the, the rifle and the twin barrel thing. I don't know if he... Had this one? I don't think Crosscut That had one this came one. with a reboost. Yeah, so she has the reboost gun. And she also has Skids' gun. And the Skids gun. I think that one only came with Skids. Yeah, so you get all the, all the guns that have been made for this mold, essentially. The only thing you don't get with her is the clear male body mold. Body mold. Mm -hmm. But you get the female one instead. So. Yeah. And I like to use these two weapons because it's the ones that she has in the in the Diaclone art. So yeah, but I mean the weapons plug in the same way for either arm, so it's really up to you on which weapon you want her to use. So it's your choice. Plenty of options. Although this gun doesn't really stay in all that well so i might just would it fit on the other like if you put it up top would it fit better you think yeah maybe let's see mm, no not not at all actually well, that gun's actually just not but mm, no i guess that just maybe this one yeah that fits better yeah huh. yeah i guess i'll use this one i mean it's close enough but whatever uh this Untapping. It's a gun. <laughs> it's a gun. Pew pew bang bang. She's gonna shoot. Stuff bang with bang it. bang pew pew bang bang. Uh, same articulation. So you know we've gone over it three times. So the ball joint that that moves moves all the way up. Do you really want to see the articulation? Like basically the uh, same. It's the exact same articulation, it's the same figure. It's the exact same mold, same QC, there's no loose joints or anything. Ratchet of hips. It's always nice to see. It's always nice to see. Unlike most Hasbro products, the QC on Masterpieces tends to stay pretty solid. Really good uh, ankle rockers. Pretty nice. Pretty cool, so yeah. There's also one of the more affordable Masterpiece molds on the market right now. Yeah, and also about the price, 
So she's listed like $75 on Big Bad Toy Store, which is where I got her from. And you know, since she comes with uh, all four guns, the scooter and the clear minifigure, which is basically garbage. And but, the sticker but, sheet, which none of the other ones have. Yeah, sticker sheet. So you have, fuck. So you have the options to, cho to choose if you want the regular Autobot symbol or the G2 version. So with all this stuff for 75 bucks, you get a pretty good deal and the best bang for your buck with this mold. Because Skids and Reboost, they only come with like a few guns. Crosscut comes with uh, the scooter and like three guns, I think. For a comparison shot, here we have Reboost. Oh, I should have brought Crosscut. But... And here we have Skids. Well, Crosscut is literally just a repaint of him, so yeah. it's fine. So you can see some of the mold differences. Obviously, they all have different heads. Crosscut and Reboost are basically the same. Just Crosscut is a different color scheme. Yeah. I should have brought Crosscut for this. But, oh, well. Oh, well. But, uh... Me, personally, because I like Optimus Prime, I actually think Reboost looks the coolest. That's just me. But well, value... Well, you're, you're wrong, but for value... She's probably say, the best because she comes with the most and is actually she, the she cheapest right now. Yeah, she comes with the most and it's actually the cheapest of the four because the other three are listed for like 90 bucks, basically. That's how much I got these two for 90 bucks each. And which also, isn't bad for an MP mold nowadays. But like 75 bucks? Pretty darn good. Yeah, so, you can't really go wrong. If you just want this mold... She's not a bad pickup if you like the color scheme. Personally, I think the one that technically fits in the collection best is probably Skiz, because he's the only one that's really a character in the cartoon. But if you just want the mold and you don't care so much about that, she's got the most, and she's the cheapest. So if you're looking for the character, character, Skids is probably who you want to go with. If you want one that was actually in the cartoon, Skids, if you want one based purely on bang for buck, burnout, if you want someone who's like actually a real character, then Crosscut, because he's got stuff in the comics, I'm pretty sure. And, and if you're just weird. The Red Skids, I guess. I mean, I think he looks cool. But let's get these two guys out of the way because they don't matter They've been anymore. But yeah, that is Burnout, who I think looks pretty damn cool. So, yeah, I like her a lot. And that's basically it. So, review over. One Bye. last thing. We'll, we'll never review this mold ever again unless they have a new repaint, which somehow does look really cool. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'm not uh, buying this mold a third time. One last thing, um, I'm very behind on MP. I haven't gotten Jetfire yet, and I don't really care for the MPG guys. They'll be reviewed eventually. MPG is probably not going to be for a hot minute, because to be honest, I don't really care for them, and the combined mode looks terrible. Jetfire, I really, really want them. They'll be reviewed soon, ish, when I get them. But I know he's out there. I know he exists. Hoist, I will be getting, because he looks pretty cool. But that's all I got for you. You have anything you want to add? Mm, nothing else that hasn't been said about her or the mold, but uh, we both saw Rise of the Beast tonight. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. And that's basically it, so... Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this review of Die of Burnout. And we will see you next time. Take care. Yeah.